What's going on guys? It's Dustin here with another Goodwill picking video. So um, yeah, I'll just get into the store here. Of course, you know, hit up the hand sanitizer to be safe, grabbing the carp and uh, headed right back into uh, the media section where I like to begin. Um, this is a no clothing video. So uh, it's all gonna be on the hard good side of things. The first thing I notice is off to the right before the shoes. They've started putting some of their, I guess, premium DVDs in the front there. So I grab a uh, season of season two of Babylon Five for twenty three dollars. That's a sci fi show from the late nineties. Um, so kind of think. Um, like you know Battlestar Galactica and stuff like that um, I'm a Battlestar Galactica Star Trek kind of guy um, I haven't gotten into Babylon 5 I want to give it a shot eventually um, it does have a cult following hence the value I'll get 23 bucks for that paying $2.99 uh, for the season and then when I turn the corner, I'm pleasantly surprised to see all of these restock carts out. So this is all the new merch. Um, I mean, this is definitely where you go to make hay. You'll see that guy in the left there is destroying the silverware there, just grabbing it all. Um, have edit, man. You're killing it. Do your thing. And uh, I've got this uh, Coca-Cola can core there. I probably regret that. I'll get about $40 plus shipping on it. So I'm guessing it's probably about a $60 deal there for $20. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to make a ton on it. The digital headphones there, they're by Insignia. That's the Best Buy brand. However, I've got comps on that specific model at 80 So that's what I've decided the price at. I'm not saying I'm necessarily going to get that nor am i saying i'm necessarily going to get the 175 for the calphenum uh pots and pans set but they are priced between like three and five dollars a piece and that's lids included with some of them so i start stacking it in the cart because i know uh there's room for me uh to make a profit on it so uh you know it's always nice to get the better cookware um, when you're out and uh sourcing because People always are looking to save a buck on that if they can do so buying used. Um, this is a amber glass decanter that I've already sold. I believe we sold, yes, $35. Uh, sold that the next day after having listed it. Um, then I continue on uh, looking through the cookware there. I pass on the KitchenAid. Uh, it's rough first off, and that one uh, pan's not going to be worth that much regardless and keep stacking in the calphenon it's all part of one set it might not have everything but you know if i could sell it as like a seven piece set or something like that or an eight piece set and get a fair amount of money um you know i'll be happy um again has isn't costing a dramatic amount of uh money when they're like two to three bucks a piece or excuse me not two to three bucks i wish three to five dollars a piece uh so i grabbed this anchor uh hawking um cake bowl or excuse me cake platter i'm gonna have to take it back it does have a chip on it and thankfully our goodwill does have a return policy of seven days this would have been a great score too i mean we're talking like 60 plus dollars on it for 5.99 however with that chip I just don't like dealing in damaged glass. Um, it's not my thing. I mean, if I can't find a receipt or something and I do have to keep it, I'll throw it out for the yard sale for five bucks. But um, in this case, I'll be able to return it. Um, but this Corning for me, uh, Vermeek is actually, I believe, brand new in there. And uh, there's a similar comp for about $24 plus shipping uh, on eBay. There's a few similar comps. I just grabbed a random one. Um, I don't think I'll have a hard time getting 25 to 30 bucks shipped for that. And yet another decanter score, $25.99, free shipping, already sold it. Got my money back the next day and then some on that one. So uh, super stoked about the two decanters moving. Um, I also then see these net style lights. It's a little late in the season to be acquiring them, but you can never go wrong buying GE for cheap. Um, those are kind of, a, that's about that price point. I want to be at two to $3. They're three bucks a piece. Um, I think we have them listed up for 30 or 40, uh, for the set, which is fine. Um, 
I go over here to see the CD holder. I love the new in-box CD holders. However, this one's so small that the comps just don't really seem like it's going to be worth it to me. Uh, so I do end up passing on the CD holder. I do get this little trinket thing. Uh, my wife says it's not worth anything. I disagree. I think we'll make some money on it, be it at the yard sale or on eBay. Um, the CD holder again, though, um, I just can't justify. Uh, I think it only held like 18 discs or something really small like that. And those just aren't the ones people seem to be looking at uh, for those. Um, it's really come down to pe uh, less casual people are buying or holding on to CD CDs now and it's more about the collector market and I really think that they're wanting and I'm not speaking for all collectors here but I think overall the market uh, wants bigger CD holders and towers and stuff like that to hold entire collections not just like you know the 18 CDs that you hold by your stereo like you did in the 90s um, the vintage 1999 uh, pencils there so they're all marked for like 99 cents a piece I'll turn like four or five bucks into 30 with those they're brand new Sanford's integrities they're no longer made so if you like those kind of pencils you're really kind of forced to go to eBay to uh, to get them so uh, that was an easy pickup for me. I mean, and I don't have much money into them. And even if I have to accept a few bucks off of them, I'll still make money. So uh, pretty stoked on that. Um, just a quick, it's easy ship too. You know, it's going first class. You don't even have to mm, and think about it. Um, the shipping's not really going to eat up much of that $30. Um, I will say again on that can cooler, I think the 20 bucks is probably a little too much to pay. Um, it's cool though. I'll still make a profit on it. I'm half tempted to keep it myself. Um, moving on to uh, this piece of exercise equipment. It's called a heavy rope. There's actually no comps that I saw on eBay for it. And I give it a good look over because I've done very well on vintage exercise equipment. Um, I sold a Jane Fonda brand new in box uh, stepper from here for over a hundred bucks before uh like the i guess the plastic steps and everything uh brain uh, in box um so you know i've done well on vintage exercise equipment uh, from the specific store actually however this one did have some like dry rot on the rope i eventually noticed and i decided against it just because again i don't really like dealing in something damaged like that and i don't know how long it's going to take to sell and find the right buyer that's willing to accept that kind of dry rot. I don't even know if it would be safe to use um, with the, like, I don't want to sell something somebody's going to blindly use because of that issue and then hurt themselves. Um, so, yeah, I decided to pack that thing up and uh, put it back. It's unfortunate. It's old school. It's made in the USA. Um, just, it's not for me. <laughs> so I do head down the uh, aisle here and um, I noticed this Walmart gift set. Um, it is unfortunately one of the Walmart ones. So not too much value there. Most of those just don't really hold enough value initially, let alone down the line uh, to uh, sell on eBay profitably. And I mean, something like that's going to ship out priority too. There's just really no, no room in it. Uh, which kind of uh, is a shame because, you know, a nice gift set right now would have been a solid pickup uh, being that we're in the midst of the holiday season. So I'm headed over here with a mission. This is one of the only plugs I know of in this store. And it's vital to test out your Christmas lights. People can repackage things really nicely and you can be confusing sometimes if they're new or not. And also when they get old like that, are they still going to work? So it's better to test them out. It's super quick. It takes like five seconds you just take the plug out of the box real quick and uh, stick it in the outlet so not rocket science and they both thankfully work um i don't know if i'll sell all of these because i also have other christmas lights listed and it's starting to get a little bit later into the season to want to make that decision if you're going to throw up your lights if you haven't by now you know you might be a late bloomer on the christmas light uh train but I think it's, you know, unfortunately, I'm probably going to get stuck holding onto those for till next year, but not much money in them. And I know they'll sell next time around. So I have an anecdote on these starting lineups. Um, they don't hold crazy amount of value, but I remember buying a 
big box of them once back when I used to do flea markets like years ago and it took me forever to move them and I thought I was getting this crazy deal at like a dollar or something a piece so I tend to avoid those the Accurite here however um, I get for uh, six dollars and uh, I've listed it for $34.99 based on comps uh, great pickup brand new in box I always have great luck with weather radios like that um, and then I do pick this up for $10. It's um, all the hookups and the base for a Nintendo Wii. I get so many Wiis in that I, I, even though it's 10 bucks and I'm paying up a little bit, it's really nice to have these spare parts, especially a sensor bar uh, without the frayed wire that often happens. That wire is so thin on the Wii sensor bars that sometimes you just get a Wii, you notice it later and you're like, oh crap, uh, this sensor bar is definitely not going to work. So it's nice to get that. And now here I am leaving Goodwill uh, with my conquered purchases or whatever. Uh, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel for more resale and picking content like this. Um, this was a great trip to the thrift store for me. Got a lot of great stuff. And uh, I have a lot of other great videos lined up for you uh, discussing uh, the business of selling on eBay and picking. Um, so yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.